Hello and welcome back again my friend to the Bitcoin price prediction or Bitcoin forecast or BTC price prediction. This is Thomas with you again. We came back in another video. And as every time, if you are a long-term trader, stick with us only here in the daily. If you are a swing trader in the four hours, and if you are a scalper and a day trader in 30 minutes, and you're going to fan timelines down of the video, you can choose any depending on your trading style. But my advice to you is to watch all the video to know exactly the multi time frames analysis to know exactly where is Bitcoin going. But it's up to you, depending on your time and the other things. So let's start our lesson of today. As you see here, the Bitcoin, what else we said? We said here, we got here that inside bar here. And today it fell down till here. Then it came that green candle after the Fed or the Jerome Powell, he came. He started talking in that forum. He says something's good, something's they are not good. He said maybe the the top selling for interest rate it might it will be more than five percent. That's something uh, not good. And he said they are not going to lower interest rate this year till the inflation falling down. So the goal for them is the inflation and uh, they want unemployment to start falling down. That's what he said. That's something very bad, not good. So if you trade in like a uh, stock market, well, if you see today's stock market, all of it is it red, but it's slightly go up when him he came at all because people that what they being waiting they waiting the fed to be clear with them and told them what the market is going to do so let's hope the inflation is going to fall down a little bit and also here in the daily we still here in that level there is nothing new well now also we still waiting the break to happen here or to happen here and it might is going to spend here sometime sideways here till the investors came back and who tell you that is the volume as you see it down here the volume doesn't spike nowhere even they came that two candles that one and that green one there is no going up no going to nowhere the market is going to stay sideways here that was it showing to us down here and here in the daily in my chart me what i got also we break in here the trend line here until now we're staying sideways here till now the market is waiting the fuel to push it up to break the 25k till now it couldn't and the two lines that one here and that one here those ones for the options people the trading options over here they are the pots or people the selling pots that meant those people if the bitcoin fall down to 22k they are ready to buy the bitcoin and it's going to be very cheap for them and those ones here if the bitcoin came to 25k they are going to sell the bitcoin they buy from down from 17k that's something good for them and it look like the bitcoin is going to spend all the week here sideways like that there is nowhere to go i think picture is too clear here now it's going to see the coming news for tomorrow for picture to get more clear to you so it's going there here we are, not the coming news, as you see it, we don't got something uh, special, we just got uh, crude oil inventory for USA, and that one doesn't got a big impact to the Bitcoin or stock in general. Then here, that table also we follow it every time, that one here, as you see it, stock market today, it's finished green, the same like the Bitcoin, what happened to it, as you see it here, all of them finish a green day so if you're watching our uh, last video where we analyze for you the sp500 the nasdaq the dxy all of them they're going up and that's what it's showing here all of them they finish the day green because what the fed telling us plus here even the vex before the fed started the vex it was near to 20 they look at it it fell down to 18.66 that's when people now they get in a clear picture what we are going to do in 2023 so that's a very clear picture and scarness going back down and may i tell it to you in the sp500 also we are in an uptrend i'll show you everything if you're watching our last analysis and here the dollar index as you see it it closed red but not that much is only 103 compared to where we used to be before before we used to be at 101 now we are at 103 so let's see in tomorrow what the market is going to do if we are going to fall down or not yeah now we need to wait in a little bit what the market is going to tell us in coming hours now let's go into the four hours to see what the bitcoin doing right now in the four hours so it's going there here we are in the four hours over here is only for swing trader so if you are a swing trader watch that 
And if you want to watch all the videos that are another story, over here, people, they follow me. Over here, we told you we got that level like that. And we told you it need to be broken here. Yeah, now there is no breaking down. And over here, it give us here like a double bottom like that. I'll show you that one in 30 minutes in the last video. And also here, we got a megaphone like that. We told you if we doesn't break down here, there is no entry short. If we doesn't break up here, there is no entry long. And that's what it's showing. And if you remember what me I told you here about that level here. I told you when it came the first, he touched it here. He went up till here. Then it came down. He touched it here. He went up till here. Then it came back. He touched it here. Look till where it went. Now it came back. He touched it. Let's see if we are going to go back up till here or no. So let's wait in the coming hours what the market is going to tell us here. And people, they've been with me in 30 minutes in the last video where we analyze for you the SP500. I give you even a signal in the Bitcoin. I told you from here to enter long till here. And also we are going to hit when we reach to 30 minutes. So now what the view? Me personally, I think maybe from here is going to go up. Or maybe it's going to fall down. But tell now there is nothing confirmed in that level where we are. The only thing you need to do now, just wait. And those people, they give you here, you got here a wage. Where they are now. What happened to that wage here? It's getting broke. It came to that level here. Now it's going back upward. That's why me, I told you. What me, I told you in that day. I told you, you got here a uptrend like that. Over here, the market go up. It said here, he breaking. For you to know that one is a real breakout, not a fake breakout. It's need the market to came to break for you. That last low here which is that one did it break it no look at it it came here now it's showing it's going back upward that's why me i told you you need to wait in that level here because that one is the most important level that one if it doesn't get in broke there is no entry short and i show you in the options people all of them now they want to buy bitcoin at 21k or 20k so you if you buy bitcoin with us from 17k you need to kiss your eye because there is no one give the people he followed they follow him to buy Bitcoin from 17k. When we are at 17k and 15k, majority of the people they've been in Twitter and everywhere on those big and those fake gurus, all of them they used to be the same. Bitcoin is going to 10k or 12k. All of them that's what they be insane. And also we give you to buy Bitcoin from 15k. Look where you are now. You are now at 23k. If you enter only by 10 US dollar, now you are making 15 us dollar that's man five dollars profit me i'm talking here just about spot then some people they came to criticize me they told me you are your analysis they are not right but that's not uh, our topic here i was going to see our indicator to see what it, what it's saying today so it's going there that one here you remember me i show you we got here a divergence like that as you see it very clear divergence we came down here in the daily one here it go back now it's showing as if it's bracket now it's going back let's see now if it's going to touch the divergence line here then after that to fall down to the oversold area or from here it's going to go back up to the overbought and to break for us that last high which is here because till now in the daily that one here it's breaking down even that one is a signal the market is going to fall down but me what me i told you i told you yes that indicator of us it's falling here and those things but us we still waiting the break to happen here in that level if it happened here the break us we are going to enter short that's it that's what us we still waiting because till now there is no confirmation the market is gone to reverse us we stay in here sideways look at it how long it's been here sideways it's my that one it just arrest a level then after that you're going to see the bitcoin going more higher or it might that one here that level where we are now it's just an accumulation level so those people they buy from down from 17k and those places they wait in here smaller investors to buy from them or they wait in someone to sell to that's it that's how is the market working so now what should you do based on that indicator that one tell now there is nothing it's showing us it's enter here to where is the bears they controlling but he couldn't stay here for long now quickly it's back in where is the bulls they controlling oh who's still controlling till now look at it forget about everything let me show you like that let's do it like that forget about everything look with me here you make it like that you see that line here that one that the wall between the bulls here and the bears here yes or no who controlling here where is that indicator it's pending long here or down here you make it like that and you reply yourself it's pending long here where is the bulls they controlling yes or no look at it just enter here to that place and very quick going back upward here that's man the bulls they still in control of that market yes now also we got here the downtrend that one here look at it very clear downtrend like that tell now we haven't break it here so it's need that one to break it here for us to know the market it will go in upward again everything is too clear guys now let's go into our other indicator what it's saying 
The one here, it's been here at the overboard area for some time. It's been very close here to the oversold area. Yeah, give the people, they follow me to enter from here. They enter, now they are in profit in 30 minutes. You should you enter long. No, my friend, there is no entry long here in that level. The entry long here, unless if it's breaking here or breaking here. If it came up and breaking here, we are going to go with it to 70k. If it came down and breaking here, us we are going to enter short. That's it. Us we still waiting what the market is going to tell us. That one down is just an oscillator. We don't need to follow it yet. Everything is too clear. Now it's going to 30 minutes to see what the Bitcoin doing today. So it's going there. Here we are in 30 minutes. Over here is only for scalpers and day traders. Remember that. What me I told you in the last video, just the last video, go back and watch it. The last video in the timeline, go to the Bitcoin 30 minutes. In the last of the video, you're going to find before all that happening. We used to be here and me I told you like that. Like that exactly. I told you, you used to have here a down channel like that. It's getting broke here in that level here. I told you here, enter long here exactly in that level. Look where you are now. You see you or no look where you are now you can find it just in the last video for the short where also we told you to enter short from here from the double top from here we told you to enter short and we told you another short from here when it's breaking here we told you to enter short again over here we told you to enter long why we told you to enter long because of that trend line here and me i remember that analysis very well i told you here you got a double bottom like that and i told you you got that trend line double bottom it used to be the neckline here but the trend line it give you to enter early from here now what should you do now at that level where you are let's see what you should to do guys let's See, our indicator, as you see, it enter here to the overbought area. People, they enter from here. Try to protect yourself now. Protect yourself because that scalping and day trading is very dangerous. It's not for everyone. Try to protect yourself now at that level. And what me I told you else? I told you we used to have here a divergence like that. You can find all those things in the last video. I told you over here, look at it. It's reacting very stronger up trend line. Until now, if we stay above it, it might it will touch it again and after it will go in up to all the overbought area. Where you should close everything when it will touch in here, the overbought area that one. Here, close everything, guy. Everything is too clear? Huh? That's it for that video. See you after European market close. Bye for now.